Well, Big Me is first again, with this time, Kaleido 3. Yes, this is the first Kaleido 3 color e-paper device in the world, beating out Readmu by a couple of weeks in terms of release date. This is the Big Me Inknote Color Plus 10.3 inch Kaleido 3 screen, octa-core processor 2.3 gigs, 6 gigs onboard RAM, and 128 gigs storage. Yes, it has all the bells and whistles of the ink note color that we collaborated with, except this time it is not collaborated with Goody Reader, and Goody Reader and Big Me are moving forward on the galley. So the first box is the main box, and then you get the accessory box here. You will notice that this one doesn't have the Goody Reader logoing on it because this one is a follow-up to the Inknote Goody Reader collaboration that is just the Big Me Inknote Color Plus. We will slide this open. It says just for you, and it has a little tab here to reveal what is inside. Now, I'm assuming it's going to be the exact same things that were in the Goody Reader ink note color collaboration because it's the same body but let's look at it all the same so we're going to take all this fun stuff out like that this that and the other thing let's see nothing in the bottom now i've always wondered why they couldn't just put a little bit less foam here and fit the accessory box in there so let's see what's in the accessory box and why it actually comes in two pieces this one is always going to be separate in the ink note line and the galley line and we're trying to get a way to put everything in the same box but I think we might go with a flatter USB cable perhaps and maybe not so thick of a tips box because tips are very small you can put them in envelopes so how do you open this? This one opens from the top like that. So inside here, you get the tips with the removal tool as well as, oh, look at that. Cool. It's like a circular one there. And you get a SIM card removal as well because this does have 4G SIM card and SD capabilities with a USB-C cable right there. So putting all this fun stuff to the side, we're going to move over to the pen because I don't know if they're going to be using the same pen. Manufacturers have switched it up and again, we're not collabing on this one so we don't know. And it is the same pen, so that's cool. This one should have the laser pointer at the back. It does. That's really cool. And this is currently the only stylus in the world that has a, well, Wacom stylus that has a laser pointer on it. Really cool stuff. Now for the unit itself. Oh, yeah, I guess you have some documentation in here. Just, you know, formality stuff, warranty guide, quick start guide, and the QC pass right there. So let's put all that off to the side here. Lots of stuff here, mostly paper. This one does have a plastic bag on the outside. Whoa, interesting layout they did here. All right. So sliding this out, looks like you have to go like that. Perfect. Sliding it out like so. No logoing on the back still. They haven't put logoing on the back in quite a while. They just have their little sticker at the bottom. They keep calling it the AI Note, but they don't really advertise it as such. They've never really called their units the Big Me AI Note. They just kind of write that. So the back is the kind of wet clay gray look that they have on all their units basically the asymmetrical ledger on the back and the asymmetrical ledger on the front and why that is is because this allows you if you guys are wondering why everyone has copied remarkables because ergonomically it makes the most sense you put your hand here if there was no side bezel and you put your hand here you're always interacting with the touch on the screen whether you have touch disabled or not they don't give you the physical option to avoid it you can't expect with people yearning for better screen to body ratios to have such a slim bezel for you to white knuckle it all the way to the final note so they just say you know what put it here relax you can use the meat of your thumb or your thumb itself to hold it like that that's why everyone does it this thing is fully loaded with quad mics fingerprint sensor camera at the front stereo speakers USB-C SD card and a sim card with a it's a camera at the back and a flash package as well. It is glass on the front, it is glass on the back, and it's an aluminum body core over there. Now, if you think we're going to end here, you're kind of right and you're kind of wrong. We are going to end because it's an unboxing video, but I mean, this is Kaleido 3, everybody. We have to show you what it looks like. You know, I myself honestly have only seen Kaleido 3 one time, and that was on the event floor in Tokyo, Japan. I must say, this is looking in tune with that. 
the colors are right out of the gates more rich that that layer of dust that's on all Kaleido, Kaleido Plus, Kaleido 2.5, whatever you want to call it, is gone. The, the dust has cleared. And it looks so much more rich. And remember, Big Me has the ability to go to the e-ink center and change everything. You can change the dark enhancement. You can change the color brightness and really up that vibrancy you can change it to normal extreme etc and you have the floating ball on the side to update things if you want to refresh everything that color is looking just about the best we've seen on Kaleido I would say just at first glance in my hands here in the studio with a comfort of me sitting in here and assessing it that looks the best doesn't look as good as gallery 3 because it's a different beast but gallery 3 will never be as fast as this that looks so good I am extremely excited to get into the full review on this we're gonna be doing a ton of comparisons with this color technology versus everything else because this is what we have all been waiting for stable high quality color with the speed of the fastest e-ink you can think of and we're happy it's happening on Big Me first because they have the infrastructure and the technology and the e-ink center much like Onyx that allows you to craft it into your own if you want to put it on extreme mode get some better speed get that fluidity back but have a little bit of desaturation on the screen that's your prerogative you can do that all day long for now everybody this is everything that comes in the box with the brand new big me ink note color plus with kaleido 3 technology on board for goodyreader.com thanks for watching